Flywheel is normally used to store the excess energy during spring and intracycle fluctuation. In case of engine, normally the fluctuation of speed is due to intracycle or due to intercycle. Now, what is the difference between intracycle and inter? Intracycle means you are executing for single stroke. So this one is your compression, uh, this one is your suction, this one is compression, this one is power stroke and this one is exhaust. So this complete one cycle. So whatever the fluctuation is caused during one complete cycle is called as intra-cycle. And if you are operating a power plant throughout the day and your load is changing with respect to time. We have a load cycle from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Load is uh, low during 6 to 10. So during this load is slow. Now for this one your load will be very low. From 11 onwards, from 10 onwards up to we can say up to 9 p.m. is the load is peak. Or we can say up to 6 p.m. the load is higher. So load increases suddenly. And from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. the load will again increase. Up to 12 p.m. the load will start decreasing. And it will become very very low at the time of 12 to 6 p.m. Because maximum establishments are close. So we are working from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. During this there are number of cycles. This one is for one cycle. So if you are able to maintain the speed of the turbine over the range of cycle it is called as intercycle and if you are able to maintain the speed constant over the one cycle it is called as intracycle. Now these cycles are basically consist of thousands and thousand numbers of such cycles. From year to year we are operating at 6 am to 10,000 uh, sorry 10 am. So number of cycles are going on. We are not bothered what about the one cycle but we are bothered about what 6 am to 10 am. So as the speed will increase we are using governors the governor and for this one we are using the flywheel flywheel is used to control the one cycle speed changes and governor is used for very long range of cycles and summarize like this the function of the governor is to increase the supply of working fluid going to the prime mover when the load on the prime mover increases and to decrease the supply when the load decreases so as to keep the speed of the prime mover almost constant at different loads. So as we see here the load is going to be changed. If the load is low it will supply less fuel. If the load will increase will slightly increase the fuel supply. When the load is very high we will increase the quantity of the fuel supplied or steam supplied in case of thermal power plant and the load will decrease. We again the decrease the quantity. Thereby you can control the power development. When the load of the engine will increase, the speed will also decrease. Therefore, it is become necessary to increase the supply of working fluid, either steam or either coal or either fuel. On the other hand, when the load on the engine decreases, the speed will increase and hence less working fluid is required. The load will increase, then the speed will decrease. Why so? Because the energy was supplied in the form of what? Current Flywheel is a wheel which stores and releases the energy and provides the fluctuation in speed. It controls the fuel supply when the speed is in excess or very less through the centrifugal action. The flywheel as said stores the excess energy and releases the same energy when required during the idle store. A governor cannot store energy, that is the main difference. Governor just control the fuel, the amount of fuel supplied or amount of working fluid supplied to the prime mover. Whereas flywheel is able to store the energy and energy is always stored in the form of kinetic energy. The flywheel will minimize the fluctuation of speed within the cycle but it cannot minimize the fluctuation due to load variation. To minimize the fluctuation in the mean speed which may occur due to load variation, the governor is used. This means that flywheel does not exercise any control over the mean speed of engine. The governor has no influence over a cyclic speed fluctuation but it controls the mean speed over the long period during which the load on the engine may vary. Work done is defined as 
integral of f multiplied by displacement this one is for translational and for rotational case we have integral of t times d theta that is the area under versus crank angle tor versus crank angle and normally crank angle is always used in radian so whatever the diagram we called it we normally called it as turning moment diagram on y axis we are going to plot the tor on x axis we are going to plot theta so this one is tor and this one is the theta must let's say we have general description about this theta diagram and we have a variation of t here in this form so area under this diagram is called as work done and work done by flywheel so if this one is theta 1 and this one is theta 2 then flywheel work done can be obtained from t theta from angle theta 1 to theta 2 this indicates that we at we have taken a very small strip of equals to what height equals to t and this is d theta is this concept this one is d theta and this one is a rectangle of such small strip if you are able to calculate this area and we can add this area like this we are able to calculate the total area in this fashion this part can be done by the integration term so this concept is same as area under xy graph we have integral of what y dx y is this and dx is theta so if this area was equated with a rectangle of this height then will you going to call this height equals to mean torque in that case the area of this complete diagram must equals to area under rectangle so we can say that t mean or we can say the total work done tm multiplied by theta 2 minus theta 1 so theta 2 minus theta 1 is the base this one is the base and this one is the height and if you want to write this you can write this in mathematical form as tm integral of d theta from theta 1 to theta 2 and therefore using these two terms can we find out mean torque any time as integral of t times d theta divided by integral of d theta from theta 1 to theta 2 from theta 1 to theta 2 so this is how we can calculate the mean torque so mean torque is always given by this equation that is called as rolle's theorem the area under tm that is area of tm versus theta is the power required or power produced by the engine whereas area under theta diagram is the work done by the flywheel just to understand this concept let take here one small fraction this fraction here let call this point is a let call this point is b this point is c and this point is d now if you look at this point is this area from this is a work required by the engine by the engine whereas the work produced by the flywheel is only this much so is the work required by engine is more that's compared to what work done by the flywheel because of this one what will happen to the flywheel the flywheel will give the energy is it correct and will reduce the speed but when you consider this from this point c to d to this point e to point f during this part now this portion does it represents the energy required by the engine this portion area under tm diagram whereas the work done by the flywheel is it more is it more as compared to what the engine requirement and therefore the flywheel will store the energy and thereby its speed will increase now to justify this 
at this point to this point is the speed of the fly will decrease us is the speed of the fly will decrease us why so because the power requirement by engine is more as compared to what work developed but if you move from this point to this point and then you come to back to e is the power developed by engine is power developed by flywheel is more as compared to what engine requirement so is the speed of the flywheel will increase and again from this point what you observe here is that the area under tm is more as compared to what area under t theta so will the energy is supplied by the flywheel so therefore what will happen the speed will decrease so continuously during the cycle the speed increases the speed here decreases speed increases again increases and then again decreases so this is what the adjustment is done by the flywheel so during the cycle the speed of the flywheel may start maybe maximum then decreases again increases again decreases again increases and again decreases and the cycle will continue here is this value will be mean value say that this value is 900 and this value is 600 so 900 plus 600 1500 divided by 2 is a 750 can we call is mean speed so your value will fluctuate from mean on positive side as well as negative side to consider this effect we have to introduce the coefficient of fluctuation of speed the mean speed is given by omega max plus omega mean divided by 2 the coefficient of fluctuation of speed is defined as maximum fluctuation of speed divided by mean speed your maximum fluctuation is from omega max to omega minimum so cs is defined as omega max minus omega minimum divided by the omega mean but what is omega mean the omega mean is defined as omega max plus omega minimum divided by 2 will it come in numerator so we have cs equals to 2 times omega max minus omega minimum divided by omega max plus omega minimum here i want to find out relation between the omega max divided by omega minimum in terms of cs so to do this i will cross multiply so what i get cs multiplied by omega max plus cs multiplied by omega minimum is it equal to 2 times of omega max minus 2 times omega minimum then you can collect the term of omega we'll shift this quantity on this side and we'll shift this quantity so what do you get on this side we'll get 2 times omega mean plus cs into omega mean is it equals to 2 times omega max plus cs into omega max so we can very well take common from this side the value of omega mean which is equals to what 2 plus cs so we get omega mean equal to what 2 plus cs and on this side we get omega max equals to 2 minus cs so can we find out the ratio of omega max by omega minimum so omega max by omega minimum is always equals to is it 2 plus cs upon 2 minus cs so gate is interested in this form of equation normally cs was provided in terms of plus and minus value so cs if it was given as plus minus 1% it means that is your total band from here to here 
is it two percent? So you have to take this value numerically equals to point zero two. Correct. You have to take max and minimum. Max, max and minimum. Max and minimum is what? Two percent. Two percent is point zero two. The reciprocal of coefficient of fluctuation of speed is called as the coefficient of steadiness. Reciprocal of this is called as coefficient of steadiness. The coefficient of steadiness is simply the reciprocal of coefficient of fluctuation of speed. In that case, this relation will be just reverse. 